Hi guys, Zomboid here, and today I'm going to bring you a video on what I think about 1.5 so far. Uh, of course, I haven't played Survival, so I can't give you my point of view on that. However, I can sort of say from the general update of what I think so far. Ramsel is obviously going in. But, no. Guys, what I think so far. Well, firstly, I've got to say that um, I haven't uh, expected sort of so much PvP so quickly in the Dark Zone. Um, it's definitely got very violent very quickly. Um, which some people like, because of course people want to go PvP. But at the minute, I haven't I haven't got my build where it, it like it needs to be for me in order to PvP confidently. Um, it was a sort of mid midweek update, so, you know, it didn't come on the weekend. Um, this is the first weekend that PlayStation would have it. Um, but like, I you know I um. I haven't got the gear that I need. I haven't got a Barrett's chest piece. I haven't got most of the stuff I need to put a four piece build together. I've got like two or three items of them. And that's just because I haven't got them, you know. It's not like I'm being picky, I just haven't got them yet. Um, which is kind of annoying, I must admit. Kind of annoying getting like loads of golds again and again. It's like, sturdy holsters are good, you know. You can only. You can only have so many sturdy holsters though, if that's the problem. Uh, but yeah, normally what I find in the dark zone is you get one extraction and then other people come and kill you. So we'll see how this one goes, but um, you know, I, I'm not particularly squishy, but because a few people do have this Brett's chest piece, and they've probably been farming the game a lot more than I have in 1.5. Now I've given it this, um, my fair share, to be honest. I've given it a fair share of, um, you know, time into the game in 1.5. But nowhere near as much as probably some people. Um, you know, if people have a whole week off for this one update, then, you know, imagine what time they're going to put into the game. But, anyway. Uh, so, with the weapons and stuff, and the guns, um, I think the FAMAS could probably do with a little bit of a help with its recall. Not, I'm, I know the talent, of course, you don't want to give it too much help with it, because otherwise it's just going to be overpowered. But, um, it's like worse than a, uh, an AK. Um, and people who know what the AK is like, it's, it's not good. It's, it's not good. It's pretty bad. Um, I guess these guys want to pick up these caches. Normally I just avoid them. But, no, the AKs aren't great. Um, okay, we're ashamed. Um, they have so much recoil. But these things just seem impossible to use. Like, um, I was with Tom and he decided to put smart cover on. Which did help it. It did help it. But, like, your smart cover's not going to be there forever. So... Once it's gone, you basically not be able to use that gun until again it, you get it back. Um, but you know we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they do. Like the NPCs, they seem okay, but they seem to either have a little bit too much health or do a little bit too much damage. Uh, I'm not talking massively. I'm you know ever so slightly. Are we going in the safe house? Is that what we're doing? Okay, I'll come as you're in there. Um, so yeah, like just maybe one of the two needs to be ever so slightly. I'm not talking like you know five percent something. I'm you know something really small like half a percent or something. It's it's so minute that the change probably needs to be. Um, but like of course I don't I don't know what the values are for the damage and the health that they have. Um, 
I'm sure there's probably a way of figuring it out on their site, or they got it somewhere on their site, but like the actual values of the health of the different NPCs, um, like, I don't know, if you change that by half a percent, then, you know, it might just seem a little, a little bit more uh, better flowing. But I must admit, though, that in one point, um, four, they did seem a little bit too easy. So maybe they've increased it. You know, maybe it's just fine. Maybe it's just me, uh, whinging. But as in terms of, like, the gear-wise, um, me and my friends together have spent a lot of time in Lexington. Um... Uh, and for those that I've spoken to, none of us have got it, yeah. Uh, and like collectively together, one of us should have got it by now probably. We've just been unlucky. And of course there'll be people who only do it a few times and then they'll, you know, get really lucky and get it. Um, but of course this uh, item really does change everything in the dark zone for the PvP wise because of how strong it is. Um, <laughs> now, I was saying that, you know, when we do eventually get it, we'll get something like, you know, protection from elites, damage to elites, kill XP, and then, like, electronics. So basically, almost useless. Um, and I was, I was saying to um, one of my friends, well, what you'd have to do then is you just have to try and incorporate it somehow. Like, if it's you're going to have one electronics in your build, make that the electronics, and then just put armor on it. But. You know, I hope that when I do eventually get it, it's not completely garbage. And it would be nice to be able to get it before uh, we get survival. But if not, I'm sure I'll be able to sort of, you know, grind survival for a bit. Because that would be fun. I just, I, I got bored. I get bored of, like, um, Lex and Turn Up. I've done it so many times. Complete the mission so many times. And then, um, you know still not get it and then you go to dark zone and then you get fisted by people who probably do have it um, but no this is is our first extraction so we'll see how things go from here um, we have a pulse which is good and we got two flame turrets um, A thing about I've realised, especially sort of near to the end of the, well, sort of I, mean, I guess probably just 1.4 in general, um, is that you have to uh, if 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 you've got a group of four people coming up to your extraction, sometimes it's just better to go rogue and lose, but protect your stuff because like sometimes they're not gonna like they you know they're still trying to like discuss oh. If they are going to go rogue, maybe they're just waiting, you know, they might not even mean anything hostile by it, but most people, if they come up to your extraction, there's four of them, they mean something. Um, they're probably just still trying to figure out which person they're going to melt first, and then if you just, like, give them the... All of a sudden, you know, just start shooting them when they're not expecting it. Um, you can, pro you can like, put them off, and uh, they'll be like... Oh shit! What's happening? You know, they won't expect it coming, and then you should have got you know more of a chance to protect your stuff. Like as long as two or pe two people like stay alive, to make sure that if they do try and get on the rope, that you can cut it off. Because the main thing is, is just the fighting bit that delays them and holds them up. Um, but yeah, it just seems like if anyone comes up to your extraction, you have to like. You know, tell them to back off if you're in like game, uh, like you know, game chat. But most of the time, you just engage them, which I, I don't think um, is necessarily the right way to go about it. But you got to ask yourself, like, why are they over here in the first place? Um, no, considering like they can be go to any extraction. But they have to go to one that's currently being extracted out. Like, you've got to ask yourself questions. Like, in DZ, you know, 5 to 6, you've got three extractions that they can go to. But they choose this one. You know? Now, it may be that they just want to go to that extraction after you guys, which is fair enough. 
But what about when they come to your extraction, right? And they start putting all their turrets down. What then? Start putting all their turrets down and go and try and like to get behind you guys. Like, you know, stand behind you to shoot you in the back of the head. You still gonna let them just, you know? Oh no, let's not go rogue, guys. Let's not, let's not shoot them. I'm sure they mean well. That's the thing in the dark zone. You can't trust anyone these days. Um, and I know it was sort of like that a bit before, but like there was occasions in like 1.2 or 1.3 where you could go up to other players and invite them to your group without expecting to get shredded while you're trying to do that. But now it's just it's uh it's just if you're in our area where we want to farm, then we're gonna kill you. But, you know, I don't want them to increase the rate of stuff like the Brett's chest piece and stuff like that. I like it that not everyone can have it, but it's very powerful. And, of course, when you put a lot of time into, like, you know, Lexington, because it's the, technically, you know, really, it's the only way that we can, um, we can get the uh, chest piece, because we don't have survival. And there's not really a lot other ways and, you know, it gets boring quickly. Like, with survival, at least, like, you know, it's sort of different every time. You'll bump into different players. You'll have different gear. You might use a different gun, because, you know, something different drops for you. I just realised, I feel incredibly squishy. I don't know what that is, and why. I got... Look, look at all my toughness. That's nearly... I nearly got 470k. Oh, I've been promoted to group leader. Okay. You want to go here? Okay. Well, yeah, guys, sorry. Um, that'll be it. Uh, if you have enjoyed, then leave a like below. But until next time, don't stop slaying.